Texting is a very basic function of a mobile phone and smartphones like the new Samsung Galaxy S10 shouldn't have any issues sending SMS. However, we have readers who have been complaining because their phones can't send text messages for some reason. Such kind of problem is not really serious but very annoying because it often occurs when you need it. So, if you found out that your device can no longer send a text, it's best to do something about it immediately. Hi, this is Felix Harley from TheCellGuide.com and in this video, I will show you how to fix Galaxy S10 that can't send text messages. First solution, perform forced restart. If you've been able to send text messages or SMS without any issues prior to this problem, then it could only be due to a minor glitch or firmware issue. This can be fixed by a simple force restart which refreshes your phone's memory as well as reload all apps and services. To do this, follow these steps. Just press and hold the volume down and power buttons at the same time for 15 seconds and wait until the Galaxy S10 logo appears. Once the phone has rebooted successfully, try sending a text message to your own number to see if your phone still can't send text messages. If the problem persists, move on to the next procedure. Second solution, reset network settings. Since texting relies on the stability of your phone's connection to the network, this time you should reset all network settings so that they will be brought back to their default values. If your phone comes with a plan, then this procedure will more likely to fix the problem, especially if it's just due to some incorrect or deleted settings. For instance, if the message center number was deleted inadvertently or changed, this procedure will revert back to the default center number. Here's how you do it. Swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the settings icon. Find and tap general management. Touch reset. Tap reset network settings. Tap the reset settings button. If prompted, enter your PIN, password, or pattern. Finally, tap reset. After doing this procedure, try sending another text message to your own number. Most of the time this will fix issues like this but if for some reason the issue continues to bug you down, proceed to the next step. Third solution, factory reset your phone. A factory reset will be able to fix all app related problems including this one. However, before you actually reset your phone, make sure to create a copy of your important files and data as they will be deleted. After the backup, remove your Google account so that you won't be locked out. When you're ready, follow these steps to reset your phone. Swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the settings icon. Find and tap general management. Touch reset. Tap factory data reset. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and tap reset. If prompted, enter your PIN, password, or pattern. Finally, tap delete all. However, after the reset and the issue continues to occur on your device, then, proceed to the next solution. Fourth solution, call your service provider. At this point in our troubleshooting, it's best for you to call your service provider because the problem could be due to an account or network problem. If it's just due to an account issue, then you should be able to send text messages once you've talked with a representative and settle whatever it is that bars you from using the service. If it's a network problem, then they should give you an estimated time as to when the problem will be resolved. That's it, I hope that we've been able to help you fix the problem with your device. Please subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you can stay up to date with the cell guide. Thanks for watching.